coach welcome back to the channel it's leo here from make money coaching sports if you want to get in contact with me at the end of this video then visit the description below number of ways that you can reach out to me either by sending me a text message email or you can even book a free 15 to 20 minute call where we jump on zoom i can ask you a couple of questions about your training business see where you currently are see where you want to get to, okay? And I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale what you're doing. So in today's video, I want to talk about something that I had a conversation about with a coach, well, with a trainer who is in soccer this week, right? So we had a conversation on Monday and this coach asked me questions about purchasing a training facility. Okay, so what I'm about to share with you today are pretty much the points that I shared with this trainer about things to consider when looking to purchase a training facility. Now, I know for a lot of trainers out there that the dream is to have your own facility. Now, you might be in a part of the world where when it comes to winter, it's very difficult to train your clients because of the weather. So being indoors is a must, right? It's a requirement. You might be in a part of the world where you've got good weather all year round. So you can run a training program all year round outside without the need to actually purchase a training facility. So either way, right? Coaches in our Sports Accelerator program, there's some coaches that are doing really well and have never purchased a training facility, okay? They don't even lease a facility out. They run all their sessions from a venue, right? It might be a local park or it might be a local uh, turf field, right? And they're, they're, they're killing it doing that. Other coaches who are in certain parts of, of the US, such as more the Northern states, have looked into hiring a training facility to run their, their sessions all year round, especially in the winter months. So a couple of things, if this is you, if you've come across this video and you want to sort of you know, you've been thinking about purchasing an indoor facility or you're looking for one, right? These are a couple of things to take into account that are really going to help your mindset, okay? So if you have a look at my screen in front, right, I'm going to share with you three very basic things that I talked to the coach on Monday. And again, if you want to contact me, visit the description below this video, number of ways you can reach out to me, get my get my personal help, okay? But the first one is how much revenue is your business currently making? So a lot of coaches have this dream of having their own indoor facility because in their, in their heads, they think that if I have an indoor facility, I'll be able to grow my business better and quicker. Now, the truth is, that doesn't determine whether your business is going to grow, whether it's going to succeed, whether it's going to fail. That depends on you and the systems that you currently have in place. So whether you're running all your training sessions from a local park, a local turf field, how, how you have your business currently set up wherever you're using will determine how well your business does. So it doesn't necessarily mean because you have an indoor facility that your business is going to be successful. Now, sometimes it might help you to run an all year round program because you might be in a state in the US or in Canada where you need to be indoor in the winter months because it's just impossible to be outside. So it might help your business in that sense, running an all year round thing, but it doesn't mean that you're going to be more successful. Okay? I have worked with a lot of coaches 
We've got a lot of coaches in our Sports Accelerator program. Again, if you want to learn a little bit more about that, reach out, reach out to me. But all the coaches I've spoken to, none of them, because they've purchased a, a venue, has resulted in their business growing. Right? It's allowed them to do, it's allowed the business to grow, but they have already a foundation in place, which then that that indoor facility just allows that business to get to the next level. But what you have to take into account is, right, if my business is doing X amount at the moment, I need to be at a position where not only is that revenue consistent, but also if we were going to purchase, if my business was to purchase a facility, I would be able, the business will still be able to cover the costs of that facility okay so your income your revenue has to be predictable in order for this to make sense and in order to do that you have to make sure that you have a foundation in place and that you're making a certain amount that your business is making a certain amount of money per month per year in order to in order for a training facility to make sense Right now, the second point is what different services can your training facility offer to increase your, your revenue? So if you're at the first stage now, you know, your business is doing really well. It's built a great foundation. You're making enough money to be able to, to do this. The second point is now what different services can your facility offer or can you run in order to increase your revenue, right? So to take your business to the next level. So a number of ways it would be one-on-one -on -one training, it could be group training. So it could be open groups, it could be small groups, it could be camps, it could be clinics. You could bring in teams from local clubs to do training sessions at. Uh, you could hire it out privately to uh people that want to play maybe five aside soccer or local clubs that want to that want to do their training sessions during the winter so what different services can your facility offer in order to increase your revenue month after month okay so if you have the first point locked down okay so you're you're making enough money your business is making enough money, you're in a position, a financial position to be able to purchase now, right? Now you need to sit down and, and plan out, right, what other services can my business offer in order to increase the revenue month after month so that we're making profit and we're not losing all the money on this facility. Because I'll tell you something, purchasing your own facility is very, very expensive. Right, it's very expensive, and it's probably going to be one of the most expensive uh, expenses that your business is going to have. Uh, probably in you know, in history, right? In in the history of the business, that is going to be the most expensive purchase. Now, it's definitely an investment that's worth making if you have a good foundation in place. And you're at a and your business is at a position that is a, it's able to afford it. Okay. Now the third point is what the expenses for owning the facility. Okay. So now what I mean by owning this could be full ownership, so you purchased it, but also it could be if you were to lease it for two three years at a time. So so you have to take into account what the mortgage costs. So if you've taken out a loan in order to purchase that facility, how much is that costing you? Uh, what are the lease costs if you're hiring it out or, you, or you've signed a one-year, two-year, three-year lease? What are the costs? Uh, what are the bills to run it? So electricity, water, uh, any local taxes that you need to pay on that facility. Okay, And are there any staff costs as well? Right, because you might have a facility that runs, you know, it might have your own little uh, kiosk or or bar inside where parents can hang out, they can drink, 
uh, and they can watch the training session. Okay, but all of that requires staff and it requires you to build a team in order to be able to run it. So what are the what are the team costs? What are the staff costs involved in running a, a, a training facility? Okay, so wanted to make this video. If you need more help on this, right, reach out to me. A lot of coaches who I have worked with or spoken to are in this position where their business is doing really well. And now they're at a point where they want to take the leap and they want to purchase the tra a training facility for their business. If you're there, okay, get in contact with me, right? If you're not there, then this call that we're, we're going to have with regards to this won't really make any sense. Okay, but if you're at a position now where you feel like, you know what, I want to do this, I want to take the business to the next level, I want to get an indoor facility, then reach out to me, we can have a conversation, I can ask you a couple of things and share with you a few things that you need in order to make this a reality for your business. Okay, so thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content.